This video is going over how we take design information and we load that up onto the um, onto the system. So I've got a USB here, um, it's just my drive E, and if I go into the in folder, I've got a project here called Lincoln Road Pond. And within that project, I've got a project.cnf file. This registers the project when we load the USB information up into the um, into the panel. I've also got two files here which are AutoCAD, one's a DXF and one's an AutoCAD DWG drawing file. I've got a centerline and a profile um, for the centerline of a road. <coughs> I've got three geo files which um, could contain my line work. Uh, I've got a GPS localization file and I've also got a terrain model. So they're pretty much all the different types of files that um, customers would typically use. So to get that information into the control panel, what I'm going to do is go into here and go to Tools, Data Transfer, and hit this button called USB Sync. And what this is going to do is it's going to look on my USB, and it's going to copy across any new files in, um, into the system. So we'll just wait for that. So it's done that, and now I back out. What I'm going to do at this point, you'll see that the dig screen is greyed out. The reason I can't go into dig is that I haven't given the system enough information to be able to work. Um, so if I go into settings now, you can see here that there's a checklist at the top which um, must have something filled out next to every line item in order you, for you to go and start working. Yeah, so you can see here immediately I haven't got a, a reference model or a design surface for it to be able to use. So. Typically what I would do at this point is go into projects and select my project out of the list, which, it's, which I've done. I then go into surface and I need to tell the system what design surface I want to use because there could be multiple design surfaces on any particular project. So at this point what I do is I select my file and I hit the spanner and then I make sure I turn the triangles off because I don't like seeing the triangles all over the screen. Um, when I'm in the digging screen. I've also got in my job a centerline file, so I'm going to turn that on and what that's going to do is give me my changes and my offsets. If you want to use the preview reference files, it'll show the, um, the design data on the screen for you as well. The other thing I'm going to do at this point is go into this thing here called Help Models. And this allows me to turn on any line work that I want to see. So I've got um, a coordinate file, which are the three geo files that we loaded up earlier. Um, and I'm going to select this one as the one that I want to use, this option 34B. And to use it, all I do is, of the three files, I just want to use this one. So I'm just going to turn that one on. And it highlights a green down here. And you'll see it's copied it up into the active models here at the top. If I wanted to preview that file, I could. And you can see here's all the line work for this particular pond design. I can view that in 3D. <coughs> uh, the other types of files I might have, I've also got um, an AutoCAD DXF and a, an AutoCAD drawing. If I wanted to use any of those files, I could turn those on as well. Okay. Uh, if I hit the spanner key here, the, um, uh, um, I'm just going to bypass this, but what that allows you to do is go in and actually select different layers um, within that file. So here, if I do this on this triangle file, if I only wanted to see certain layers within the DXF file, I can come in here and just turn them off, on or off if I wanted to. So I'm going to back out of here at this point and then go into the dig screen. So what I'm going to do here is now escape out and go now into my dig screen. <coughs> and you can see here I've got my chainage showing down here, on um, chainage or station here, my offset showing here, giving me my cuts and fills. I can see all of the line work from my help models here on the screen um, and I've got my actual height on the bucket here shown as well. Um, if you did want to see the triangles for any reason I can go to tools, configure model and turn the triangles on if I wanted to um, and all I need to do is just refresh this view and now I can see the design triangles. For me personally it's not my preference to do that but um, some people do like that. So whenever you turn the triangles on or off, you do need to refresh this view.